back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo. So as you can see, I already have uh, a few cards and we're going to get into the remainder of this reading. Um, the first thing I'm telling you here what I'm picking up is there is someone, there's a hesitancy, okay? There is someone here, could be a Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, who is in this kind of like, should I or shouldn't I mode, okay? Or can I or can I not? Or it, it's kind of like, I feel someone here is stopping and they have these restrictions um, whether they're mental restrictions, there's an insecurity kind of thing, um, or they're just kind of like restricted in general because they have something else going on. Um, I do feel like there's someone mostly who has this feeling of, um, you know, the Eight of Swords, just kind of like, I don't know if it's depression or there's some kind of insecurity um, or they feel imprisoned, or they're just like this self-imposed prisoner. I feel like there's, this person is kind of thinking about that, like how they fail. They feel like they fail, or they sabotage things. Um, but I do see this person like kind of looking at the situation in regards to their mental struggle, and um, they're not sure if they want to approach. They kind of do. But they're kind, they're kind of like, oh, I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Or shouldn't I? Okay. And I also feel like um, there's this need to um, shut something down in order to do that. Okay. So this person is kind of like waiting for things to just happen. They're waiting you know, it's not really so much like they have to take action. They're not sure if they should. I feel like they're kind of in this place of like, maybe I should just let things kind of simmer down or let things just kind of resolve. And then I'll know. This person is seriously trusting their intuition about making a move. Okay. Definitely. They're not like making the plan. I feel like I will tell you, though, that this person is definitely passionate about you. Okay, they have a lot of passion, fire, lusty energy toward you. Um, now let me see here. So they are, they're holding back, okay? And they're just kind of like waiting to see what will happen. Um, oh, and they just said waiting to see if they don't move quick enough, will you cut them off? So they're waiting to see how you're going to act or how you're going to respond if you're going to be patient. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Oh, goodness, with all this energy. Oh, yeah, look, you got the lovers. Hmm. If you're going to decide to wait for them or not, that's, that's the message, okay? Or if they should stick around. Gosh, Virgo, what the heck? Yeah, I just feel like this person is, is like, I don't know if there was some argument or fight or some nasty words that were said, if they said it to you or you said stuff to them. But this person's kind of like, they don't want to leave. They don't want something to end. But they're not sure if they should come forward. If you will receive them or if it's even something like, or if they should just let this relationship go or just be done with it. Okay, but there's love here. I mean, there's definitely love here. It might have been a twin flame where there was like a little bit of difficulty or struggle. Um, that five of swords, that's a rough card to have in a relationship. So this kind of feels to me like, you know, a lot of uncertainty and change. You guys will have to like realign to each other. Um, there's some inconsistencies that have occurred in this relationship that created this place of not feeling safe or secure. Um, somebody broke somebody else's heart and yet there's still this acceptance and love and understanding happening here. But I just feel like someone is like, they're really hesitant 
to come towards you, okay? Even though they do love you, <laughs> okay? Even though they do love you. Like I said, it could be um, the, one of the fixed signs. It could also be a Gemini or a Pisces. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, this is my apology card here. So, <clears throat> now this is, this is an energy of kind of reaching out, right? And having some kind of very gentle check-in um, or a sweet text message or phone call, something very short, something very sweet, something very gentle. This is a little bit of like, it's very mild, nothing serious. This, <coughs> excuse me, this feels like a little bit of a temperature check from this person to see kind of like how you're going to respond. They want to talk to you. I mean, basically this person, like they want to do more than just talk to you. I mean, this person wants to basically jump your bones, so to speak. Um, very passionate, fiery energy. But there's some kind of mental distress that they have. So I don't know if you guys got in an argument or something. I feel like, or there was a fight, or there was kind of a cutoff, or some kind of like power struggle, verbal words were had, or something happened. There may be, this person could be, like, so, like, I don't mean to call you out, but I have to give the reading. If, if you said something that was harsh, it hasn't changed this person's love for you, but it has left some kind of a um, sour taste on their tongue. And they may be waiting for you to apologize, or it's reversed, okay? And they did that to you, and they need to apologize to you. So whatever this situation, I kind of get a sense like this person they, they are going to reach out, okay? And I will give you um, a date, uh, around a date to see when. Um, I do feel like this person just wants things to be peaceful. They want to try to get back on track, like I said, to realign their relationship with the lovers here. So either they're going to apologize to you or um, hope, ho wait for you to do it to them. Or, to, or for both of you to kind of just like kiss and make up, okay? But I will, um, listen, Virgo, it, a very sweet little check-in message is coming from this person. Oh, okay. Now for some of you, okay, they know that they, like, so if they owe you an apology or they feel like they need to, to try to make things better, like they intuitively are aware um, but there's hesitancy. I just feel like they, they don't, it, it kind of feels like if they, if they apologize, you're going to bite their head off. I don't, I don't know. This person is like kind of staying quiet though. Um, now for some of you, there is like this little check-in that will come. Like, um, I said, kind of a text or call or something, but it's kind of secretive. Like there's more behind it. So when I was saying like, it's very mild It could just be like the introduction type of a text or call where you guys don't get to the meat and bones of the issue right away, you kind of segue into it. This person, okay, there's a secretiveness, there's a hiding. What is this hiding energy behind this message that you will be receiving or this communication? Okay, so they've made a decision. And they, oh, okay, wow. So the emperor. All right, they're just, they're just saying real quick that there may be some kind of communication about a father as well, okay? About the, someone going to see their father, or spending time with their father. But also, there is an energy here of like, I feel like this person wants you to know Virgo that um and we do have Aries here and Pisces again or Cancer I feel like this person wants you to know that they're really taking responsibility for their side of the street okay um like they're at they're standing there at the crossroad and they're like okay they know what they need to do and they know that if, if they've caused any harm to a relationship or reacted badly or anything like that or just didn't say anything um there's something here about 
taking accountability and responsibility for their side of the street, okay? So I do feel like that's what's behind this message, right? They're going to reach out to you and either apologize or uh, try to have conversations about like, hey, you know, we both, if it was both of you, because it takes two to tango, right? I'm not saying that it, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm not saying it's theirs. I'm saying if it was both of you who engaged in it with each other in very negative ways, um, they're taking accountability for their side of the street. Okay. And I kind of feel like they want to be able to like both of you just kind of talk and have like this very humbling, like, yeah, conversation, like, wow, I'm really sorry I said those things to you and back and forth, or I'm, you know, especially with the five of swords, you know, for both of you to kind of just like be like, yeah, I'm sorry I reacted to the things that you said or the things that you did, that kind of thing. So I feel like it's a very healing energy, but this person is just kind of um, fearful that you're going to chew their head off or that you're like, they're going to humble themselves or, you know, be make themselves vulnerable, like with the lovers and um, that you're going to, you know, like a praying mantis, take their head off and eat them. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I'm not saying whether you should or you shouldn't, and we're going to take a look at you, but I do kind of feel like that's the energy of this person in September. You know, um, they really are passionate about you and they really do have a deep love for you. Um, but I don't know why it's so hard for this person to just come forward and just be like, you know what? I really said some nasty things and I'm really sorry. Um, or I just did some not so great things and I'm really sorry for the way I treated you from my end. Not that you deserved it. And I hope that you, you know, will forgive me. And it's also hoping that you will... Not that it's necessary. This is kind of all about their energy and hoping that you will forgive them for something. So there's a lot of hesitation. Let me take a look at you. Okay, so Virgo, be careful because you might be up on your high horse a little bit. You, you don't want to like, don't get up too high on your high horse, Virgo. Get into a little bit of humility. Um, it looks like for you though, you're feeling kind of justified in September for something that occurred, like maybe righteous, you might be feeling a bit righteous. Okay, but you know what, Virgo, that's a struggle <laughs> to maintain. It is life is so much easier when we're when we have humility, right? Uh, it's a struggle to maintain being at the top. So I feel like Virgo, um, you may feel at this time, like you're justified or you're um, righteous in something that happened, but I feel like that's going to really block a relationship from moving forward, keep staying up on that six of wands energy, um, or you're just going to get exhausted. It's going to weigh you down and be too much of a burden to carry. And I feel like that's not going to last too long because being right feels good in the after effect, immediate after effect, but after a while, it's kind of like, okay, well, I was right, but, you know, and everybody knows I'm right, and everybody is giving me applause and recognition for how I was right, but I'm alone, right? So is it better to be right and all alone, or maybe say, okay, I might have been wrong and try to repair relationships? Now, listen, this doesn't have to be romantic. Um, this could just be someone who is like a friend or a family member that's not lusting after you <laughs> or a coworker where um, they're very passionate about your relationship and they want to, they really want to get together and get back to doing the things you guys used to do. But there was something that crumbled and a little bit of um, damage control. Okay, let me take a look also what is going on here with you, Virgo. Yeah, see what happens. That whole kind of energy where, and I feel like that's what this person is a little bit fearful of, that, you know, maybe it's not the right time for them to come in and try to, you know, apologize or something like that. I feel like this person, 
they're very sincere. Um, they're trusting their gut about when maybe need to give it a little bit more time. And that's why I feel like they're not coming right out with it because they have this kind of this thing like um, if, if they come and try to work something out with you, you might not be ready. Okay, so they're, if you're wondering why somebody isn't reaching out to you after this situation, this is why. Wow, Virgo, you've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Like, you will be ready if you want to repair this and try to work with this person. But it looks like starting off September, you're kind of like, nope, I'm right, you're wrong, and everybody knows it, and I'm, you know, up on the high horse about it. And people are kind of like applauding me for standing up for myself, okay? Maybe that is something you needed to do. Um, but I don't know, Virgo, I, this rest of this energy doesn't look like <laughs> it's worth it. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords does not look like it's worth it to parade around um, justifiably, you know? Um, it seems to me that this person really loves you and they really want for you guys to come back together and try to sort out the problems. Okay, Virgo, let's see. Yeah. So why would you not be ready, right? I mean, you're, you're justifying, um, your righteousness about this situation is because you felt betrayed you felt like you were pushing um, or carrying the weight and the burden of the relationship. You were being appreciated. It was giving you a lot of anxiety. And it looks like maybe you freed yourself from it or something happened or there was a cutoff or an argument. But, I mean, you had to do what you had to do for yourself, okay? But, I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, you know, if, if you like, if you trip over a rock, you know, kicking the rock <laughs> isn't going to remove the fact that you fell over the rock and you probably got hurt and you fell down. You know, kicking the rock doesn't do anything. Using a bullhorn and shouting about how the rock was wrong for being on the sidewalk <laughs> really doesn't do anything. It sure gives you a sense of victory when you feel you can overpower that rock but the rock doesn't care you know and it's about the struggle that you're going to face in the aftermath okay and you look like you have um some wounds you're you look like you're hesitant to um i feel like you and this person are both very hesitant so i don't know if there's a little bit of pride or ego going on here um I, I have to say, I do feel like it's a little bit more on your side than theirs, but you're protecting yourself. And that's why I feel like you have that energy. That's why you have this nine of wands here, you know, um, to go from the 10 of wands to the nine is kind of good because it does give me this message that you are like, hmm, well, you know, before I was just blocking and blocking because I was so stressed and pushing back on this person um, because of the struggle. But I don't know, Virgo, I kind of feel like you're healing. You know, you're healing from, you know, when, when, when we come down off of our high horse or that sense of being right, um, that's when the healing kind of has to start, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's this you know, okay, well, yes, I'm justified, and yes, I'm right, and yes, they owe me an apology, and maybe they do, um, but being right, I guess it's not always worth it when it comes to close relationships, right, 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 so now you've got the three of cups, okay, I feel like things start to get a little bit easier for you, let me see here, in regards to this relationship. I feel like you may consider um, okay wait now they're just saying 
it looks like you're going to looks like you're going to be spending some time with friends and other people who support you. Yeah, so you know what, Virgo? Let me just, I feel like you kind of start slowly coming around, but not fully. And that's why this person is not really pursuing, trying to repair it, because they don't think you're ready to talk or ready to, re to receive or listen. Um, yeah, the Ace of Swords is not gentle <laughs> by any means, you know, I feel like you're still kind of like drowning yourself, um, staying up in that energy a little bit. You have a little bit of confliction happening here. You're definitely slowly recovering, but it looks like you are seeking maybe other people to date. Um, you're not ready fully. The clarity has not come yet for you to, like if this person reaches out, I do feel like you will, at least in September, kind of like slice and dice this person with that Ace of Swords. Um, it looks like you've cut them out and you don't want to try to repair this relationship right now. Okay. And I feel like they know it. They know it. They know it. Either you're not ready or you just don't want to. Okay, they are they don't know for sure. Let me see. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you, um, your energy in September is just trying to have your stability. That's really, that's your goal. Because you you really... You really went through something with somebody here. I feel like you were seriously betrayed or hurt. Physically, even could have, for some of you, could have been physical hurt or affected you physically. You know, this was a hardcore struggle. Seriously. And some of you are just still trying to protect yourselves. You're not ready. Um, so if, if this person even comes in or tries to, kiss and make up or anything it will be lost on you because it you know you're not fully ready uh to give or to reconcile or have some kind of reunion where to just get back to happy moments you're not ready to forgive you can't forget you know and and that's all right virgo you know you're you're in where you are with your situation you have to do what's right for you Okay, and if somebody else is ready for something, um, that's because that's their journey. And if you're not, that's okay. Okay, maybe in another time you will. Um, but for now in September, it looks like not so much. Yeah, not until you get into that pace, uh, place of peace. And this is like full healing, forgiveness, being on your own. Um, and really being able, like praying and meditating and coming to a place of like, okay, I feel like if you were to, I feel like if you were to talk to this person or try to have like a kiss and makeup scenario, part of you would be relieved, but the other part of you still is dealing with the betrayal and the anger and, and, and to get back up on the horse again with this person is going to require a lot of not just creating new memories, but repairing some of the old, right? I mean, it's got to be that whole love and forgiveness thing. So you will free yourself from this isolation from this person that you're in, okay? And um, you will take a leap of faith. There you go. Faith and healing for sure. Um, to either forgive and move on and not return this relationship back to the status quo or the way it was or you will forgive and try to start again with this person but it looks like it's totally on on you and whatever it is that you wish for whatever's going to make you most happy is your goal here okay but i will tell you you know i don't see this person i have to say this I don't see this person seriously sitting with remorse and regret. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, it could be because you are the offender and 
they have nothing to have remorse or regret for, but they do love you and they do want to try to fix the relationship. Or they were the offender and they have no remorse and regret because they're self-centered <laughs> and lacking empathy. It's kind of hard to say here and we'll see when the rest of the cards come up what the energy might be. But I feel like going forward in September, you know, the overall message is that you're not quite ready to receive or try to make the relationship better. Perhaps at the start of October, it might be a little bit, or the end of September, you might be a little bit ready to respond to any apology or um, to talk about the relationship to try to make it better. You know, some of you, like I said, are just like, hmm, just nah, forgive and forget and move on. Okay, so you're going to have to see. You're going to have to see. I mean, if you want to get a personal reading, if this is resonating for you, we can take a look and see. All right, I just want to get some romance angels. See of chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here between you and this person. Chemistry doesn't always mean romantic, okay? Um, it's just magnetic. It's just something where the relationship had an impact on both of you, okay? Whether that's positive or negative, there was definitely um, a refining between the two of you and your interactions, like, you know, grinding stone, uh, metal on stone, there was a refining process. So there was definitely some lessons learned. And now you also have separation, time apart from each other is on the horizon. So, you know, it might be right now or it's going to continue, like I said, throughout the rest of um, September. Yeah, and retreat, okay. So this feels to me like it's mostly about just the fact that somebody here, whether it's you or this person, is just not ready to step back into the ring. Um, they don't want to fight, but don't know how to be at peace with each other just yet, try to make something work, okay? But I will say, you know, or it's just somebody's just not, or two people are just not ready to really forgive and forget, okay? But there is so much, there's a lot of passion <laughs> in chemistry. You know, uh, this makes perfect sense to me because I feel like if the passion and the chemistry and the magnetism in this relationship wasn't there, it wouldn't be that hard to sort it out, <laughs> right? Which tells me that these are, this is two people who really care about each other and are both hypersensitive to each other. And um, it's difficult to talk. It's difficult to sort things out because, you know, like I say, if, if, if people don't really care about each other, then there's, there isn't all this craziness like hesitation or should I or shouldn't I talk? Or should I or shouldn't I say something? And what if this happens? When you're not that invested in someone, you, you just don't overanalyze it and you don't, you're not hesitant about it. You, you know, you're, you're just like, it is what it is. You know, like you go to the grocery store and you're at the cashier paying for all your stuff. You're not generally thinking to yourself, well, what if I say this? Or what if I say that? Or what if I upset them? Because you don't, you're not invested in the cashier unless it's someone that you have like a little thing for. Then you're a little bit more self-conscious about the way you look or the things you say. And that's only when there's an investment. What we're invested in, we don't want to lose. And we want to make sure that we care for it properly and we, we don't say the wrong thing or we don't screw up or we, you know. And I see two people here who are very invested in each other, which just means that there's love to some level on this on the love spectrum somewhere and you know it's an important relationship for sure but there's definitely like this it, it's so important that we're treading very carefully with each other or one person is with the other okay yeah so you've got acts so there's a breakup separation there's a needing to stop the pattern there may be silent treatment or a feeling of a silent treatment or abandonment because needing to make healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier, you know? For some of you, it's not a high horse situation. I will say this. For some of you, it's 
it is a little bit of an ego, okay, or, or putting the ego back intact to try to um, feel good again about the self, okay, but making, I feel like the separation is bringing clarity as well, let me see what else you have here. Okay, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So for some of you, this is a friendship, okay, strictly friends. And for others, it's, you know, a romantic relationship. But there is this energy of, like, two people talking over coffee or wanting to have that conversation. I feel like when both are ready, that's how it's going to occur, you know, over coffee or tea or over drinks, very um, kind of informal, but it's not going to be a um, kiss and make up love sesh if it's a romantic relationship. It's going to be like, hey, let's go have some coffee. You know, coffee's kind of light and simple. We're kind of just segueing into this. We're not opening this can of worms with like full force. We're just kind of poking some holes in it to see, you know, and I kind of feel like that's this person's energy as well with you. They want to talk. They want to try to, you know, just be with you or be in your presence or just how they miss you. Um, but they're just a bit fearful that there's going to be this or that you're or or <laughs> it's either fear that you're going to lash out with that ace of swords and give someone like some truth bomb or just not uh, use this kid gloves to talk or it's fear that there's a complete cutoff and that the other person won't like there won't be a response okay and that it's it's like a complete let go like it's done I, I mean that is so final but we don't have a death card so I'm not 100% sure that this is uh, final to some degree okay it might be final in the physical world but there is still some lessons. Somebody might be trying to fast track their lessons to get it over with. Learn it, be done with it, and move on. Um, but you can't do that. Lessons come when spirit says it's time for us to learn them. And we have to just kind of go with the flow and let them come. Okay, right? Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And that's what I feel like with these lessons being learned. Because, you know, even when the relationship ends, there is sometimes this afterthoughts about the relationship, what happened. Sometimes little light bulb moments happen. Even after two people are no longer engaging with each other, there's, there's this is still learning lessons. Okay, so this is not officially done um it might just be still lingering energetically what you know and that's what i feel like you know everything with this connection here is definitely divinely guided for sure and everything that's happening uh, spirit will let you know when, when you know when the shift comes you feel it sometimes you feel the pre-shift you feel the shift before it happens but you know it's coming and then you know when you've, you've actually shifted over into the next lesson or the next realm or the next thing that's coming down the pipe, okay? Um, some of you might be in the, the actual shift pipe line right now, you know? Um, but that, no matter what, patience. Just allow things to unfold the way they're meant to. Don't stress over anything. And hopefully this person won't either. Okay, new love or recommitment to love is developing. Yeah, so, you know, Virgo, like I said, for some of you, there is going to be like, okay, let things unfold. Take things a bit at a time and get back and have those conversations. Maybe try to just get some closure. So to have new love come in, to op be open for new love. Um, or to get some closure and forgive and try to, both of you, recommit to the relationship in a better healthier way with those healthier choices okay so i'm not really predicting what you're going to do um but i see what this person is just kind of patiently waiting um to see if you'll give them a second chance whether it's friendship or romance or going from romance to friendship or friendship to romance you know um spirit saying the relationship deserves another chance so that's entirely up to you because you have free will. If that's what you want to do, that's what you do, okay? 
Um, let me see what your other messages are here. Okay. So, the struggle is over. So, you will come to the end of this, both of you, for sure. It won't, it'll, it's going to get easier for sure. And then that love offer comes in. This kind of feels to me like forgiveness is the way to go. It's the way to heal. It's the way to make, it's not just for another person. I mean, listen, it's for you first and foremost. But, you know, everybody makes mistakes. And, if, and, and I'm not talking, like, listen, when people come to realize that they really screw up something, whether that's you or another person, the best feeling in the world is someone who we've offended or, so let me just say it like this, the best feeling in the world is when we've made a mistake or we've offended, for that person to say, you know what, that did hurt. And, um, but you know, I, you're not perfect. And if you're really going to do the best to make those changes, um, then I, yeah, I forgive you, of course. And I, I, so like, I just feel like we should just forgive people all the time. I just really feel that way. Um, but I also feel like, it, but if they're, they're really taking a look at the mistakes that they're making in uh, like hurting others or being deceptive or things like that, like if, if they're if they're not taking a look at that and they just expect people to stick around after forgiving them, um, I don't think that that's the right thing to do. But I feel like it's okay to forgive someone over and over again because for yourself, you don't want to carry around that anger. It'll eat you up inside. <laughs> right? That in the heart of the matter is always about forgiveness because that not forgiving someone is drinking poison and expecting the other person to die from it but it actually it affects you because you carry around that anger right forgive 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 but also draw lines in um people you have to have boundaries of people taking advantage of you you know um anyway forgiving and letting go um is releasing the struggle and that's allowing love to come in that's how that works right because if we're not going to allow that change and we're going to hold on to that anger and the resentment and not forgive we're tight our body is tight our, our our inside is stressed and we're blocked we've created a blockage okay so with that love offer comes moving to a safer place so that feels more to me not like in the physical but more energetically um getting into a better place in this relationship where both partners feel safe and secure okay if you want it and I always have to give that caveat because I know there's a lot of people in my chat <laughs> no offense to you guys but don't want that love but are always here looking for love so I don't know what's going on but I know there's a lot of you who do want to forgive and move on okay and like I said there are some of you that this is a family member or a friend Um, all right. So you guys, I got some new, um, little things here that I want to share with you. Um, I got, I made my own dice, so to speak. So let's do the Chinese signs to see you and, or this person. And then I'm going to get into a little something new for you guys. Okay. Let's see. So you have a snake, you have a monkey year of the ox and we have a snake again year of the rat year of the horse another horse another monkey okay one more and year of the goat okay so all right let's see i'm going to look at Birthdays. Oh, okay. So they just gave me a charm. We have the Eiffel Tower. All right, let's take a look. And what we have here. All right, so someone either born or is their age. 
we have 73. So it's either the year of birth or the age. 73. We have initial, the letter A. Okay, I'm just going to grab a whole bunch here and see what comes out. All right, so also September. When is this message coming in? I feel like for September. Okay, the 22nd. So this person will be reaching out around September 22nd. You will hear from them. That's basically a month away. <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever. Keep going. Do you? Okay, we've got 79. So like I said, either the year of birth or the age. We have 52. We have 84, 46, 73. Okay. And 63. All right. So we have September 4th, September 18th. We also have initial J. September 19th, August 28th. Okay. And any other August birthdays? August 31st. We have September 21st. August 29th. Okay. And let me see if I can get a name for you guys couple of names here. Okay. Hmm. We have PAK. We have, that's really weird. <laughs> I can't explain why. Um, wow. Okay. The only Okay, that's not even create. That's not even funny. That is not even funny. Hold on, you guys. They're not giving me another name here. I don't have enough. I only have one consonant. Um. Oh. Okay, I don't even know if that's a name. P-A-B, P-A-B, <laughs> P-A-B, that's not even a name. It could be initials. Oh, there we go, okay. So, we've got A-B, we've got W-V, somebody might be in West Virginia, too. Um, Alberta. Um, public of Korea. Uh -huh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not making any sense. Okay. I don't think anyone is in the Republic of Korea. What do you think, you guys? Let me do, do another shuffle. <laughs> okay. All right. One vowel. That's not even crazy. That's just not right. So, um, all right, we have key, K I, or Q I. We have Dolly. I'm hearing Dolly. Dolly. Okay. Too much dead air. Sorry, you guys. I'm just picking up, like, I, I don't know why I'm picking up Dolly. Or someone likes, uh, plays with dolls. All right, let me just throw in a couple more. Okay, we've got some vowels here. That's better. All right, day, D-A-E. Day. This is like um, word scrabble, 
kind of thing. I can't really do Scrabble. We have Leah, the name Leah. We have Dre, D-R-E, Dre or D-R-E-Y. Okay. We have Lida, also Lida. Um, we have Rex, R-E-X. Uh, Vida, V-I-D-A. We have Dave. I just saw the V. Where to go? Dave, D-A-V-E, -E, David. Is anybody else seeing names? Because this is too funny. Um, okay, someone thinks they're a diva. <laughs> Or someone's name is Diva. Okay. And. Ooh. I'm picking up a rival. A rival. Someone is arriving either by plane. Um, they're telling me a rival. Okay. All right, you guys. So. Let's just take a look real quick here. So the first charm they gave me is the Eiffel Tower. I know you can't really see it. Let me turn it. So there is a connection to Paris or someone's going on a trip, maybe to France, um, or someone lives in a city called Paris as well. And also, wow, okay. Is that green or is that turquoise? That looks like a... That's strange. Turquoise uh, four-leaf clover. Sorry, but that was the ship's wheel again. We had that yesterday, so you can go back and listen to that reading. Um, okay. Someone might be from Ireland. You also have fearless. So, Virgo, that's definitely your energy <laughs> playing out here. Um, being fearless in uh, September. I don't know. Maybe because your birthday or the end of August. You have some birthdays. So, Virgos are kind of like... It's my birthday. It's my party. You're doing your own thing. I just want to get some zodiac signs too, and then we're going to get going. All right. You have Cancer, uh, Gemini here, Virgo, and Sagittarius. So this could be your person. All right. One more. One more. And also Taurus, Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. I will get better with these dice, you guys. <laughs> these little things here I'm trying to um I don't think I'm going to do the spell out the names I don't know if you guys comment and say that I called out your name then I feel like that would be helpful but I, I don't I have to work on that with these but definitely the initials okay so yeah if you guys want to get a personal reading there will be a September discount that will be happening coming up very soon um I will be posting it up there soon on my website but you have to book it for September did I say December? For September, okay? Don't book a September discounted reading in the end of August because I will just uh, refund you and you're going to have to book it again, okay? And also, um, yeah, tomorrow is starting August 23rd, Virgo season. Hey, it's my birthday. And happy birthday to all of you uh, August 23rds. Um, and yeah, don't forget, you can join my OnlyFans if you want to get spicy tarot readings and the children's rescue, everything, everything and anything, there is a link under my profile picture on my channel, my YouTube channel. Just click that link and that'll take you everywhere that you need to go and you can peruse everything that I offer. All right, you guys, so have a great evening, day, morning, and I will see you all back here on uh, Wednesday. All right, take care, bye. Mm -hmm.